الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه وتعالى ونتوب اليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له تعظيما لشانه واشهد ان محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم عبده ورسوله داعي الى رضوان اما بعد حبايبي في الله ايها الاباء الكرام وامهات الفضليات اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل يقول الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون all thanks and praises due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the universe we thank him and of course as muslims we do testify that there is none worthy of our worship and praises except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he is the final and seal of all prophets and messengers allah sent to guide the entire mankind from the darkness of disobedience towards the nur of iman i humbly ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make myself and all of you be among those who live die and raise the day of judgment as pious muslims my brothers and sisters in the deen fathers as well as mothers i want to first of all take this opportunity to admonish myself and all of you to fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fear allah allah says ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu he call on you the believers all you who believe اتقوا الله حق تقاته في الله سبحانه وتعالى اس اي اوت تو بي فيد ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون and do not die except in the state of islam as a muslim may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us be among those who live die and be raised the day of judgment as muslims ya rab habaibi fi allah an abi huraira radiyallahu an narrated by abu huraira may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him انه قال he said قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the prophet muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said من ياخذ عني هؤلاء الكلمات فيعمل بهن ويعلم من يعمل بهن he said who among you will take these words from me abu huraira radiyallahu anhu said that's who we are with the rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said man ya'khudhu anni ha'ula'il kalimat who among you will take which one of you will take these words from me fa ya'malu bihin and they will act upon them wa yu'allimu man ya'malu bihin and they will teach others who will act upon them qala abu hurairah abu hurairah said qultu i said ana ya rasul allah he said and i said oh you the messenger of allah i will take that responsibility fa he said then the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam held my hand and he counted five times and he said the first ittaqil maharim takun a'bada an-nas he said abstain from all prohibitions whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited abstain from it and you be the most worshiping among mankind the second he said warda bima qasam allah lak takun aghna an-nas be content with whatsoever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you and you will be the wealthiest the richest of all mankind and number 3 he said wa ahsin ila jarik be kind to your neighbors takun mu'mina and by doing so you become a true believer and the fourth he said wa ahib lin nas ma tuhib li nafsik takun muslima he said and love for others what you love for yourself and by doing so you become a true muslim akhiran and the last but not the least he said wala tukthiru dhahik he said do not be excessive with laughter do not laugh too much all the time he said لان كثره الضحك ان كثره الضحك تميت القلب he said too much laughter kills the heart يا الله يا له من يا له من حديث 
What an amazing, amazing, comprehensive statement, hadith from the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path. Inshallah, bi idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we do my best to talk about two or three faqarats, sentences from this amazing hadith of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, according to Abu Rai radiallahu anhu, he said, Ittaqil maharim. Abstain from the haram. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited, abstain from it. By doing so, takun a'bad al nas. You become the most worshipping among mankind. It brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at Allah, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my dear brothers and sisters in the deen, huwa asasu kullu shay, bal huwa gharadul ibadah. It is the foundation of every act of worship. And in fact, it is the purpose of worship itself. Allah says in the Quran, He said, Ya ayyuhan nas, He called on you mankind, O you mankind, I'budu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum, Worship thy Lord who created you, Walladhina min qablikum, And he created those before you, La'allakum tattaqun, So that you may gain piety, Taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah says in another surah, another ayah, He said, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ He who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا Allah will give them means and ways to come out, away from their difficulties. And He won't stop there. He said, وَيَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for him where he or she did not expect. Subhanak. This is taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah says in another ayah, He said, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. O you who believe, He call on you the believers. In tattaqu Allah yaj'al lakum furqana. If you do fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will grant you the furqan, meaning the ability to distinguish between the right and wrong. Wa yukaffir ankum sayyatikum. And Allah will expiate all your sins. Wa yaghfir lakum and forgive you. والله ذو الفضل العظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى he has the greatest of all favors so dear for my brothers and sisters let's fear Allah سبحانه وتعالى remember whatsoever you do Allah sees you he knows where you are he knows your past your present and the future and that's why he said ألم تر أن الله يعلم ما في السماوات وما في الأرض don't you know that Allah سبحانه وتعالى he knows he knows what is in the skies above and the earth below. مَا يَكُونُ مِن نَجْوَى ثَلَاثَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ رَابِعْهُمْ If you are three in number, wherever you are, three of you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Father. He sees you. He knows everything about you. وَلَا خَمْسَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ سَادِسُهُمْ And if you are five in number, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the sixth. He knows. وَلَا أَدْنَى مِن ذَلِكَ وَلَا أَكْثَرْ إِلَّا هُوَ مَعْهُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كَانُوا Wherever you are. If you're more than that number or less, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sees you, He knows wherever you are. ثُمَّ يُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And He will then inform you of all that you do or you've done in this dunya. The day of judgment, He will inform you. Because إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything. They know of everything. So let's fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the taqwa Allah is a shield between you and all the evil bi idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that's the first statement of the rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said ittaqil maharim abstain from the haram whatever Allah has prohibited is not good for you wallahi al-azim it will hurt you and that's why a man asked Abu Huraira he said ya Abu Huraira ma ma'ana taqwa he said can you define the word taqwa for me and then Abu Huraira said to him he said, هل سلكت الطريق ذا شوكة? Have you ever gone through a path full of thorns that can hurt someone? And then the man said, yes, I have. And then he said to him, ماذا سنعت? What did you do? And he said in Arabic, he said, كنت إذا رأيته التقيت أي تجنبت عن. He said, when I see the thorns, I will not step my foot on it at all. I will not do that. And then Abu Harira asked him, he said, why? He said, because it will hurt me. And he said, He said, that is taqwa. 
When you touch that which Allah has prohibited, it will hurt you in this dunya and the akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from his punishments. And the second statement of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is amazing today. لأن كل واحد قد سخط عن نفسه Everyone, most of the people today, they are upset of themselves. They are upset with themselves. And they are upset with whatever condition or situation they are in. But the Rasul said, He said, وَرْضَى بِمَا قَسَمَهُ اللَّهُ لَكَ Be content. Be pleased. Be satisfied, brothers and sisters. With whatsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, has granted you by doing so without contentment, he said, You'll be the wealthiest of all mankind. Yeah. Be content and you'll be the wealthiest of all mankind. Arida ayyuhal ahibba. Contentment, my brothers and sisters in the deen. Jannah to dunya. It is the paradise of this dunya. It is the paradise of this dunya. The one who is content and they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are pleased with whatsoever provisions is given to them. And they are pleased with the content, with the, con I mean, command and decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those people are the wealthiest among the entire ummah. I'm not the one who said it. But your beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam confirmed it. He said, لَيْسَ الْغِنَى عَنْ كَثْرَةِ الْعَرْضِ He said, the world is not about possessions. To have luxuries. This worldly materials. You have houses, you have cars. These are not ghina. It's not wealth. لِأَنَّ كَمْ مِنَ النَّاسِ How many among brothers and sisters يَمْلِكْ مَلَايِينَ يَمْتَلِكْ هَذِي مَلَايِينَ they have billions and millions. Wallahi. They have billions and millions of pounds. Walakinnahu faqir. But he is very poor. He is so sad. Wakam min fuqara. How many among us that are poor? They barely had a bread, a day, a daily meal to, meal to eat. But yet they are more happier than those people who are wealthy. So the Rasulullah said, لَيْسَ الْغِنَى عَنْ كَثْرَةِ الْعَرْضِ Wealth is not about possession. It's not about all these worldly materials that you possess. He said, وَلَكِنَّ الْغِنَى غِنَى النَّفْسِ He said, the wealth is the contentment of the soul. When you are pleased with whatsoever you have. When you are pleased with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you are pleased with your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you. That is why. Contentment in the deen it's divided into three categories. A riddle, contentment, it's divided into three categories. Al-awwal, the first, a riddle, bima qasamahullahu lak wa qada. You are pleased with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. Wa thaniyan, and the second, a riddle, bi qada illahi wa qadari. You are also content with Allah's decree and decision. وثالثاً and the third الرضا بالله عز وجل عن كل من سواه and you are pleased with Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Let's go through them briefly. الرضا بما قسمه الله لك to be pleased with what Allah has given to you. الرزق يا حبايبي في الله the provision comes from Allah سبحانه وتعالى. أم يريدون أن يقسموا رحمة ربك؟ الله said do they want to provide distribute the provision of Allah؟ نحن قسمنا بينهم معيشتهم في الحياة الدنيا. الله said I distributed my their provisions, their needs, their sustenance among them in this dunya. A risk comes from Allah سبحانه وتعالى not you. That's why He said وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون. Allah said, I did not create man and jinn but to worship me. Ma uridu minhum mi rizq. I do not want them to provide me anything, no rizq. I do not want provision from them. Allah said, Ma uridu minhum mi rizq. Wa ma uridu an yut'imun. 
nor do I want them to feed me. Why? Because inna Allah huwa razzaq dhul quwwati al-mateen. Allah is the one who provides. He is the one who provides, not you. Not because you have masters, degrees, you are skillful. You have the connections. No Allah. Al-risk maktub bin indillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whatever provision you have received today, or you enjoying, or you in bliss, whatever it is, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why the Rasulullah said, لو كان لابن آدم واديا من مال لابتغى ثالثا If man was to have two valleys filled with money he will seek for the third and he said ولا يملا جوف ابن آدم إلا التراب Nothing fills the stomach of the son of Adam except this mud Nothing we're never satisfied. So be content with whatsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. The Rasulullah said, He said, Wallahi mal faqr akhsha alaykum. He said, I'm not afraid of poverty for you. No. I'm not afraid of poverty for you. He said, Walakin akhsha alaykum an tubsata aw tuftah alaykum hadhi dunya. He said, I'm scared, I'm afraid. That this world will be stretched towards you. كَمَا بُسِتَتْ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ As it was stretched to those before you. فَتَنَافَسُوهَا كَمَا تَنَافَسُوهَا And you will compete for it just like those before you competed for it. فَتُهْلِكُكُمْ كَمَا أَهْلَكَتْهُمْ And it will destroy you just like the way it destroyed those before you. That's the problem. Brothers and sisters, be content. And accept and be pleased with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. And if you want to do that, you want to be someone who is content and pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's provision, listen to this hadith. The Rasul said, Unduru ila man huwa asfala minkum. Look at those who are below your standard. If you have food to eat, there are brothers and sisters in Gaza. They don't even have water to drink. If you have Clothes to put on, clothes. And there are others who are looking for just one, one jilbab. They don't have it. If you're healthy sitting here, listen to the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala today. And there are others, brothers and sisters, that woke up in the morning. They were healthier perhaps more than ye. But now as we speak, they are lying down in the hospital. They could not talk. They cannot talk. They cannot eat by themselves. They're being fed three tubes. So be content with whatsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. Look at those below your standard. And the Rasulullah said, by doing so, he said, Don't look at those above you. He said, By doing so, you will appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's favor upon you. Astaghfirullahalim. Alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. We thank Allah and the peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My brothers and sisters in the deen. Qada'ul ani ridu Allah. The pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as I mentioned to you is divided into three. The first we've talked about it briefly. Which is, arida bima qasama Allahu lak. You are pleased with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or whatsoever Allah has given to you. And the second, الرِّضَى بِقَدَاءِ اللَّهِ وَقَدَرِهِ You have to be content and pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree. Before I stood here today as khatiba, as a, you know, imam who gave the khutbah, it is decree by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, إِنَّا كُلَّ شَيْءٍ خَلَقْنَاهُ بِقَدَرِ I have created everything with decree. Before you sit where you are as well, it's been decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every aspect of your life is being decreed. Allah said, مَا أَصَابَ مِن مُسِيبَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ He said, whatsoever affliction, trials you faced, or happens within you, in yourself, 
Allah said, illa fi kitabin min qabli an nabra'aha. It is written before it happens. It's a decree by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you're going to have to know this. That whatsoever happens is Allah's decree. Accept it. And you have no one to turn to except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no one can remove that burden or trial from you except Allah. أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُتَّرَّ إِذَا دَعَا وَيَكْشِفُ السُّوءُ وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ الْأَرْضِ أَإِلَهُ مَعَ اللَّهِ قَلِيلًا مَا تَذَكَّرُونَ Who else will remove the burden from you when you invoke him, when you call upon him? Who else besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? None but Allah. Listen to this beautiful story that I've ever heard. One of the imams, he used to be a minister. He's called Imam Ahmed ibn Sa'id, rahimahullah. He is the father of one of the greatest scholars you've ever learned about or know. And that is Imam Hazma. Rahimahullah. His father was a wazir to one of the Amir al-Mu'mineen. One day, he said, I was with the Amir al-Mu'mineen. Fajaat hadhi al-mar'ah. And this woman came. She was crying to Amir al-Mu'mineen. Said, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen. Anakallah. Azzakallah. He was praising the Amir al-Mu'mineen. And then Amir al-Mu'mineen said to her, he said, Ya Ammat Allah, ma hajatuk? What is your needs? What do you want? And then she said, Ibrif is sijin. She said, my son is in prison. You've imprisoned my son. And my son is the only one that go out there and worked in order for, for him to bring provision for us. You've imprisoned my son. I want you to release him, please. And then the Amir said to him, he said, ma ibnuk? Man ibnuk? Who is your son? And then the mother said, Fulan ibn Fulan. So and so person. And then the Amir Mu'mineen became so upset. He said, Alam Yushnaq? Has it been, hasn't it been executed up to now? He said, Wallahi Yushnaq. He said, he will be executed now. And then, He did, he wrote whatever he has to write. His decree and he gave it to Imam Ahmad Sa'id, Ibn Sa'id. And he said, take it to the head of the prison, right? And give it to him for him to implement what I have written here. And then he went and he gave it to the head of the prison. When he gave it to him, and then he read whatever the Amir has written. And he took this young man from the prison. He came with him to the Amir al-Mu'minin. Amir al-Mu'minin saw him coming. And he said, didn't I order you to execute him? Why are you bringing him to me? And he said, ya Amir al-Mu'minin, hadha amruk. This is your command. And when he gave the marsum to the Amir al-Mu'mineen, and he read, Badalan an yaktuba yushnaq kataba yutlaq. Instead of him writing, saying that he will, should be executed, he wrote, he said, he must be freed. فَمَنْ أَرَادَ اللَّهُ لَهُ أَنْ يُشْنَقْ مَسْتَدَاعَةِ الدُّنْيَا لَهُ أَنْ يُطْلَقْ Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to be executed, or wants that person to be executed, nobody will free that person. This is what we need to know. Akhir and brothers and sisters, we have to be pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And know that when you please with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you accept what Allah has done. And you please with Allah all the time, Allah will always give you ways and means for you to become successful in this dunya and the akhirah. Allah says in the Quran, He said, Muhammadun Rasulullah. He said, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ أَشِدَّاءُ عَلَى الْكُفَارِ رُحَمَاءُ بَيْنَهُمْ تَرَاهُمْ رُكَّعًا سُجَّدًا He said, and those with him, the believers, you see them, they are stern when it comes to the unbelievers. They stand, or those who stand against the deen, they are stern with them. But they have mercy towards one another. تَرَاهُمْ رُكَّعًا They bow down together. سُجَّدًا And they prostrate together. Why? يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِنَ اللَّهِ They are seeking favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَرِدْوَانًا And Allah's pleasure. Allah said to Musa, He said, Ya Musa, وَمَا عَجَلَكَ عَجَلَكَ عَنْ قَوْمِكَ يَا مُوسَى What makes you rush? You left your people, Ya Musa. He said, هُمْ أُولَاءِ He said, هُمْ أُولَاءِ عَلَىٰ عَثَرِ وَعَجِلُ عِلَيْكَ رَبِّي لِتَرْضَى He said, Allah, they are on my path. He said, I rushed to you, Ya my Lord, for you to لِتَرْضَى For you to be pleased with me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with Allah for Siya Rabbil Alameen. So therefore, my brothers and sisters, my message to you is for you to be content and be pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever situation you are, it will never be, you know, um, something that will last forever. It will come to an end. Because, Today is difficult. 
But bi'idhni Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Tomorrow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easier for you Allahumma gfir lana warhamna Wassurna wa afu anna Watajawaz an sayyatina Watawafana ma'ala barar Allahumma tub alayhina tawbatan nasuha Allahumma tahir qulubana min al-fusuqi wa la'isiyan Wa min al-hasri wa al-baghda Wa min al-kufri wa al-kabriya Wa min al-shirki wa al-shaki wa nifaqi ya rabbal alamin Allahumma faqihna fi al-deen Wa allimna ta'awil Allahumma ja'alna muqimi s-salaa wa min dhuriyatina Rabbana wa taqabbal dua Rabbana gfir lana wa li walidina Wa li mu'minina wa al-minati wa ma yaqum al-hisab Allahumma nsur ikhwanana min al-muslimin Fi falistin ya rabbal alamin Wa fi kulli makan Wa fi bagladash Wa fi kulli مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم يا الله اللهم كن لهم ولا تكون عليهم انصرهم ولا تنصر عليهم وفقهم ولا توافق عليهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصل لهم على سيدنا محمد قوم ولا سلاتكم يرحمكم الله forward please <clears throat> make space for your brothers barakallahu feekum Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah Hayya ala salati Hayya ala al-falah 